to, uh, let me see, 23rd, my goodness. Isn't that something? Welcome to uh, <coughs> Live. council work session to uh, discuss the budget. It's our budget work session for September 23rd, 2024. Can I get a roll call, Mr. Fetty? Yep, we got board member Tony Abbott. Here. Uh, we got board member or councilman Tommy Roulette. Present. We got councilman Lenny Fryman. Here. Councilperson per Brett Bondurant. <laughs> yes, sir. We got councilperson Dylan Little on the phone. Present. <coughs> uh, we got Doug Gardner is our city attorney today, and we got Mary Kelly Milan. Here. And myself. All right. Um, you guys have had a copy of the proposed budget for 2025 um, since last, I think, Thursday? The revised budget last yeah. Thursday? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I'm looking to Tommy because I knew he would know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, we can do it however you guys want. Uh, throw questions out. Mark and I should be able to answer them. Uh, if we can't, we'll actually we'll get you the answer and get back to you. Well, let's go through Mr. Roulette's notes first so we can get it over with. Wow. I know, wow. He, I know he's got a couple pages. <laughs> go ahead, Tommy. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Mr. <laughs> uh I'll start with page one. Okay. And I'll do, I'm just going to go with the line item. It's the last four. Four, one, 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 one. I see there's an increase with that individual. I'm really okay with that one because it looks like the last time they got anything was 2019. Well, he's just getting the 8%. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, when we say that 8%, that's just this year. He's not going to get what the, the um, hourly employees are every year, is he? Yes. As a cost of living. Okay. That was the intent. That's okay. So that will mean every elected official mm -hmm. get that much money. The whatever the percentage raise is for cost of living. Okay. Because we did eight six two two or whatever. Eight eight four four three. Eight, is that one? Eight, eight, eight four three three. Yeah. Eight four three three. So, so the throughout four this years. contract, because I think we talked about that in the past and it didn't happen. So mm -hmm. that's what we are doing now. Yes. Okay. So that would mean that's a proposed that proposed yes i'm sorry but you're right thank you so that would be for ct mayor uh city judge, city judge. okay okay well i'm good i'm good with that one and and uh i i will say this and um mark and i we looked at that and um your your city most cities do cost of living raises okay for their elected officials. Okay. Well, I, it, this is something that we are going to set into place now, so it's precedent setting, so to speak. Mm -hmm. that's, that's fine. Okay. Just asking the questions. Yep. Okay. And then I think I'm good. I was going to bring up on page two seven one 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 one. Okay. We've had a little bit of discussion on that, so I'm good with that right now till we figure out what we're going to do there. Okay. Hold, just give me a second here. Uh, page five. All right. And that will be in the police department. Okay. I'm for the life of me trying to figure out uh, 7114 numbers. Yep. That's sergeants because they went from 59,655 to 150,779. And it sounds like we may be adding sergeants or a sergeant. I'm not sure. Yeah, la last year's budget only had one sergeant. It just has two. And so course, there is that, two. That number does in include the increase. Okay, there's, so there's the two there. There's two. Okay. And then when you get down to... Uh, 7124. Yes, sir. That number is the same going across. As the <coughs> Sally Orange, whether you're a sergeant or you're a detective, it's the same number. It's the same amount of money. Oh. And there's two of those also. Okay. 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 I know we talked about that. I just need clarification. Yeah. All right. 
Does that make any better sense for you? It does. It does. Okay. And uh, you might want to let them know uh, who prints this that they need to spell lieutenant right. And with lieutenants, if you look, take a look with down what the 128, 128, there are now four lieutenants. Yeah, I get that. I figured that one out after you meet. That talk. pays just a little bit more. Yeah. And this is based on the 12 hour shift. Yes, yes. That so there's makes, four teams yes. now. That makes all the sense in the world there. Got it. But again, make sure they spell Lieutenant Wright so they. <laughs> uh, L I E U. <laughs> is that how it's spelled? It's L I E U. They didn't put yeah. U in yet. Right. Okay. Got it. Uh, so going to page seven, seven, the one, 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 that is actually a, what are we getting there? I got it wrote down 18% increase. So it's 10% above the, the, uh, the eight that you're saying we're now going to start paying. Yeah, that, that one right there, um, that, that's my salary. Right. You know, I'll make it public. There's no question that's about fine. that. That's fine. I'm just using but it. But my thought was to, to get this number close to what it should be. Um, I'm not going to be the clerk treasurer forever, but my thought is basically you want that salary close to what it should be. Uh, if you take a look at the office over there, my staff right there is still lower than anybody else over there in my office. Uh, but it's one of those numbers where I put in there. I remember, I remember five years ago or four years ago, Basically, when the mayor got his big raise, you guys said something. I said, nope, this is my first year. Um, when I get a couple years, you could take that number with the clerk treasurer and basically, but my, my thought is is to put it where it should be closer to what uh, is in other cities our size. Um, it's still it's still lower in a lot of the cities like Batesville and Greensburg and some of the other ones, but if you feel that number's not right, you guys are the council, you're the five that vote on, on the salary and the salary ordinance. Um, we can make that adjustment. But I'm just trying to get it close to what it should be for a city our size, where we pay our, you know, utility <coughs> chief and all the other ones. Uh, if, you take, if you take a look at the clerk treasurer's salary, and like I said, I know what I have to sign off on, I know what my responsibilities are, and I take a look at what everybody else makes in this city, I just want to make sure that that person in the future, whether it's me or whoever it is, gets paid what it should be. Um, if you guys don't feel that way, then we can we can make an adjustment however you guys feel. Well, there's a couple of things there with that, and I'm not disputing the fact, but you got a 10% last year and you do make another $3,400 a year from utilities. And we added, we also added another person into your office last year. And that? I mean, I mean, that's, that's just, okay. I, uh, I'm just, that's my thoughts. Well, I, you know, it, I, I mean, I'm the only one person, so I mean, well, I, like I said, you're one majority of wants the other, to do if the if other it, ones feel that way, then we'll, we'll make the, well, I mean, I, I'm I just, I don't know what about, we'll wait for everybody, everybody talk and see what they, does anybody else have any opinions on that or thoughts or. Well, I, let me share mine because, uh, Mark came and talked to me about this and, and quite honestly, uh, when I, when I went and then looked at other communities you know and and i i know I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here with you guys but and i say we say it all the time but uh we're we're, we're a little different you know we we have a budget of a south bend not of a greendale or lawrenceburg we, i mean based upon the, you know the size budget we should have based upon the people the, uh, the responsibilities are, are higher. The clerk treasurer takes on a lot of responsibility. But Tommy, going back to your point, yeah, I think it, you know I think they did add a person over there. They, um, uh, they um, obviously I can speak to this year. We lost uh, we lost a lot of knowledge over there. I, I know that uh, Mr. Fetty's had to pick up a lot of that slack this year. I I, I don't know going forward I, I'm sure he'll, he'll probably have to retain some of that so but that's that's just my two cents I you know. well you know your good point well taken Tom all right that's it I'm done so go ahead I'm not bringing up any more I, I figured it would come to this so that's fine come. Um, all I can say is I think 51,000 is pretty low for for a clerk treasurer and responsibility that they have 
I've got no problem. So on page 10 on 9-11, I guess you guys are good with the <clears throat> $2,000 raise for council as well. I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not. But Is that the one you wanted to bring up next, Tommy? Yeah, I was going okay. to bring up uh, 4111, but when you said that that 8% is uh, uh, I want to go all the way around for elected officials. That number is that good in there? Okay. Please. One other thing, and and this is just my thoughts. Uh, really, in the past, whenever we like take out like the fiber on page 19, they usually have a color code for that. They didn't do that this time. You know, because we're, we're along with them, fiber and LR, LA, LARU, we're getting rid of them. So I don't know why they didn't. Yeah, I think they just. It's, it's they, all right. They just didn't well, they put didn't any, put any dollars in there. In there. They, they probably had to just get rid of it. Yeah, they right? put the percentages in. Plus, I've seen where they, in the first one, that they had uh, procurement in there twice. <clears throat> I did bring that to Mr. Fetty's attention. I think uh, they corrected it in this one, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Okay. Well, let, let's go back to the one you, you mentioned on 14. The council thing, you guys. Uh, that I, I heard a lot of uh, a lot of no's. I personally don't want to. I mean, I know what I do. On page ten. Page yeah, 10. but I'm not okay. in favor of no raise. All right. I didn't get in it for the money. Okay. That's just my That's point. Really yep. I'm just. All right. Conversation for out of spirit. There's no protection for. I, I think that we've got a pretty solid group here. I think we've yep. got some guys that are willing to, you know, do some of the legwork. I just don't think there's any protection in the next group or the group after that, or, you know. Okay. Well, we can we can take that out if okay. that's the majority feeling that way. I mean, that's. I I mean I'm, I'm I don't know that I want to. I don't know if we need to vote. If anything, to, I would rather reallocate the money for like a. Uh, I don't know, so that we have something to do with donations. I know we have a donation committee or something similar. I don't know, but I'm not completely opposed to having the money in the budget, but reallocating it to something else. Well, the last thing we want. Or people's thoughts are. The last thing we want is to give away money. Yeah. And we have a donation committee for that, and we I just keep them there, because if not, we'll have an office full. I agree. I think it works a lot better that way, because we'd be having people come up all, all the time wanting money from us. Yeah. Like I know I jokingly say council has no money, but I, I, I understand why. Okay. Okay, so uh, what I'm hearing is uh, an objection to the, the increase for uh, council uh, salaries, the $2,000 increase. Is, is anybody want to speak in favor of it? I kind of think that yeah, I think it. There's there's pros and cons to both sides of this, and I know everyone in here we didn't take it for the money, but I would like to see it. I think that we need to do something so that whoever comes in next time, maybe we can get people coming in that's more business oriented or what have you, or I, maybe I shouldn't say business, but maybe they could come in have different ideas instead of the people that we've got to where we're, we've got a lot of things going on so, so we can keep it going on. If I'm explaining this the correct way that, well, that, here, I mean. I, I hear you, I, that's kind of where we started with um, you know, <clears throat> some, of the, some of the other raises and I, and I think it makes sense for, for a part-time employee. I guess my argument would be that I don't think 10,000 and $12,000 make a difference to somebody else who has a full-time job and yep needs to put in the required hours here to, you know, yeah. to do a decent job. I think I think that, that that was the same argument that I used talking about the full-time employees because I think, you know, that qualified uh, individuals like Mayor Ray a couple years ago, um, you know, trying to target a more qualified person to take the role, but I, I, just, I just don't see the difference in, you know. Okay. And that, and then, yeah, really, $2,000 is not a real significant amount no um so my 
do you do you want to do the cost of living percents in there? Do you want to just leave it? I mean, is it going to be ten thousand till? Or who? I mean, <clears throat> I, I'm just kind of curious of what what you guys are thinking, what you guys like to see there on that. I mean, just leave it the same for continue year, next yeah. council, just or just do you want the cost of living on that number, or just basically just keep it at ten? Um, I'm going to keep it at 10. Here's, here's my thought process, guys. I mean, really, we're, we're council. We're depending on the amount of work that you put into it. Like, I know some of us go over to Betty's, check the claims, this and that. All of those different things. I mean, it can be a full-time job if you're doing it right, but you also get the benefits, which is a pretty big package in itself. I Personally, I, like, I know what I got in this for. I care about my community. I want to do the right thing, those types of things. I I would rather just see it stay at 10 personally. Okay Good point. That. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Sounds like uh, we remove it. Okay, thanks, guys. Good conversation. Okay. Next uh, question? Page 22. 22. There again. <coughs> Reedy, really used to mark when we are adding new things to the budget. Yeah. And I see 1484, 1485, and 1486 being added. Yes. I see one is a clearinghouse, uh, 10,000 I have no problem with. Mm -hmm. Concerns I have about 85 is CARES. We've given CARES a building over an industrial that we did receive from St. E, which I, you know, I know we didn't have no money in. Uh -huh. But we also gave them $100,000 uh, back last year, I think it was. Right, for the build-out. So, But what would concern me is that mean that from this point on, no. we're going to have them in our budget every year for $125,000? No, the, the request for, uh, was that uh, uh, for the first year of operating expenses only, and... Uh, and then after that, once the it's up and uh, operating as a full nonprofit, uh, it 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 takes care of its all uh, all of its ongoing expenses. That's just a one year, one year okay. only. Well, and that, that's why I asked that because when you see it in there, you're thinking, "Yep, now no, it's going to be a you. line item from year to year." I hear you. So instead, and, I, and I'm asking this question, so why would we not just take something out of rainy day or MDF to give them as a one-time thing like we did back in 2023? Well, we were just wanting to make sure that we, we had a line item for okay. it for this that's year. Fine. But it, it'll be, it's just a one-year thing, Tom. Okay, all right, that's cool. Yeah. Good. And the last one, <clears throat> I, look, I understand what you're looking for there, and I, I know your heart's in it, but... The only thing that scares me there again is if we we start doing this mm -hmm. like this here, that amount of money, and then we stop, I think there's going to be a lot of bittersweet people mm -hmm. saying, well, we used to get it, now we don't. When we got the money from COVID, yeah. it was great. That right. you, and you brought that Unbudgeted, yeah. I just, yep. I don't, I, 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 can, I can honestly say I'm not in favor of that, is all okay. I can say. I understand where your heart's at, and I appreciate that. Well, and, and uh, I don't want to set a precedent yep. that we're going to wish that we didn't do if we continually do it, and then we got to take it out. And those people that were receiving that are going to say, "Well, we, we used to get it," but I don't. That's just me. No, that's that's a that's a valid question. Yeah. I and uh, yeah, the my my uh, my response, I guess, is uh, um, we had been doing it, or we did it. Right. Uh, when we had the, the COVID money and right. it was unbudgeted money, so we wanted to share it with the community. So we offered utility forgiveness. Um, honestly, uh, I could, I mean, I can go either way with this myself. I don't know how the rest of the council feels. It was just something that I, I, I had talked to Mr. Fetty about as well that, hey, let's, uh, let's put that in there and then obviously talk about it. Uh, and then, you know, we either keep it or, or not. It's completely okay. up it's to you fine. guys. That's no, fine. it's a good point. It's valid, valid question. I, I, I appreciate it. I really do. But yeah. I just don't want to get it to where people start relying on that. And then yeah. we, as things go differently, we can't put it in there no more. And then they're like, where did that go? Why did they start? It's like, 
giving someone a piece of candy for five days in a row, and on the sixth day, you're not getting it. That's <laughs> <laughs> my foot. I wrote it. Last but not least, page 24. Well, Thir- does anybody there. else have any? Oh, I'm sorry, man. Does mean. anybody else have any questions about those that uh, Tommy brought up right there? Well, I think it's a. I think it's a nice gesture that we we've done it because we had the money to do it. I think the one time we done we had a grant money or something or it was from ARP COVID, or AARP COVID ARPA. ARPA I mean yeah. ARPA money I think most of the people knows it's not it's not going to be every year but I mean there's a lot of people still struggling and around Christmas time and for the kids and different things to be able to buy toys or whatever they buy clothes or whatever they need I I have no problem with doing it for one more year. I just That's think nice. it's, in a, in a way, and I don't know how other people take it, I just, again, throwing thoughts out there. I think in a roundabout way, it's kind of a slap in the face. I know that we had to raise our utilities this year, but then we're going to give them free utilities and receipts. Kind of contradicting of each other. Well, it, it, that's a good point, but just remember, it's two two different pots of money. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It, yeah. This is this is uh, a riverboat, and right. uh, the right. utilities is uh, rate rate right. payer rate rate based money. But that that's a good point, Dylan. I mean, it, it, to the average Joe, they may not look at it the way we know they come out two different pots of money, but they may look at it like you said. That's a good point. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's it's not general fund nor is it uh, utility rate money we're doing that with it's out of it right mdf yeah it's, that's it's just my of, thoughts i, I mean i'm not no i hear you it's it's good discussion yeah. <laughs> okay brett you Tom, or tony have any suggestions or comments i'm in favor of it forgiveness yeah although i would like to see it controlled more like fair havens I guess we pay them, but they don't give nothing to the renters themselves. But there, we 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 looked into all that. There's no other way of doing no it. No other way of doing it. I figured it'd be kind of hard to do it. You know, and and we, we're depending. You're right. It, it. I wish we could, but there we're depending on the landlords to do the right thing. Right. Well, shame yeah. on us sometimes. I guess. Yeah. But but for the most for the most part, I think they try to. Is there a way that we could potentially set it up as a program to where they could apply for it and show that they need the relief? Well, we we sort we sort of have that already uh, to the point where, um, and then the state of Indiana also has a relief program. Um, it's a good point. I don't know how much that I don't know how much that adds to the work level of our utility accountants and stuff dylan i i don't know i can't answer that i guess it's a good point it's a good point i was just curious because like i, I like the relief idea like it, it, it's helpful right right um, but i don't necessarily need it so as a rate payer do i want that three hundred thousand dollars to go towards mine instead of helping a family that might need it a little bit more than ourselves yeah but this isn't rate money you, you, you follow me there right okay 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 um the other th- thought i had it, and when i when we were putting this together um and i'm just t- telling you the reasons why it w- got put in uh we no longer have a, a payment going to the cancer center uh yeah. starting in yeah. 25 and we thought well you know uh we're we're doing we're doing we're doing well financially on the city side of things. Um, we just thought we'd it'd be like a share back, but I, I, I get your guys' points. Your guys' points are very valid. I just wanted to tell you why we, we looked at that and stuff. I know where your heart's at. I was just yeah. trying to think of how we can make it the most effective. <coughs> yep. uh, that's a good, good point. I mean, listen, I, I know our, our nature is if we get something for free this year, we're going to expect it next year. Going back to Tommy's uh, suggest, you know, c- comment, and, and and I get it. We all think that way. Um, I, I will say this, 
and I'm, I'm sure you guys have gotten the same kinds of feedback. I mean, I'll go through the McDonald's line and, and the, 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 the lady that's serving the coffee says, I can't thank council in the city enough and Lawrenceburg enough for it came at the right time. Yep. Now, I get it. It pulls on your heart. Uh, and that's probably, Tommy, you, you said it, you, that's where my heart was. But, but the thing is, I'm thinking if we couldn't, if we couldn't afford it, we wouldn't do it. And I've said that with everything we've ever done here. And uh, that's, that's the reason it was put in. Uh, you know, listen, uh, I'm hearing sort of mixed. So what I'd like to do is uh, I'd like to keep it in there. Okay. And then it, when it comes time to vote, we, if there's some solid discussion, get, no, don't want to or something, we can, we can do it that, at then, if that's okay. I'm good with that. Good with that. Tommy, good. Good with it. All right, thank you. <coughs> Dylan, you're okay with that? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. All right. We got next there, sir. The last one I have just for conversations, page 24, uh, <coughs> 1520, the kiosks. Can we not, can we do any of that in house? Which one? I'm, I'm, I lost. Oh, I'm I see. Sorry, I see. I see. Twenty-four yep. kiosks at yep. the top. Yeah. Can we not do some of that? Do we? Let me we, rephrase this. Yeah. Do we own the actual kiosks? Absolutely. Could we not? And I'm just asking. Could we not do this in-house with our IT? And I know you, we've cut it. Yeah. That's why it, the okay. part that we were able to bring in-house. Okay. Uh, Bryson is doing it. That's where the nine thousand dollar decrease went. Got, I got that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, and the more, and, and just so you guys know, um, obviously when you look at, you know, when we went over capital with IT and stuff like that, there's always uh, some big ticket items in there. But the things that he's doing is really trying to uh, take away from depending upon outside yep. folks. This is one of them. But okay. he, he couldn't, all of it, there's some licensing, things like that. But for the most part, that's a good question. He, he's trying to do mu as much as he can in-house. You're right. That's all I have, Mayor. Let's see the final number. It's what other questions do folks have? Tommy covered most of mine, yeah. and I spoke with Mark about a lot of them. Okay. Okay. Did you get your questions answered, Dylan? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about anybody else? Um, uh, let me make a comment. Uh, Mark and I, we spent a lot of time on the budget, meeting with all of our uh, department heads and trying to make sure they get what they need. And uh, and then at the end, we got to make sure that we can afford what they need, right? Or do it. Um, obviously, we 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 do depend. Uh, outside accounting to help us uh, with Reedy. Uh, yeah, Tommy, I think we can make some suggestions on how they do this in the future that go back to the way we, I, I like that color coding. I, I did well. too, but I mean, I figured it out. Yeah, yeah but but I think, you know, it's, it, it was a little easier for me too. There's five years of it, so I, can, <laughs> I know you know you mean? I can go back and I can see how they do it. <laughs> I just think it's nice when they put the percentage yep. And when they put a color code in there, you say, oh, yeah, that's gone this year. But, I mean, I figured it out. So and the other thing, Mark could probably speak about this a lot better than I can, but th this next year is a 53-week year. Yes. The percentages would have been completely haywire. It would have been, yeah. Uh, because there's 53 pages. Right. But, but the thing is, is um, I feel good about the, the budget that we've, we've proposed and we'll make the change that you guys had asked for. And then if other changes come up, obviously we, we got to have a hearing. The budget hearing will be on uh, October 7th, correct, Mark? October, yeah, October 7th. And then uh, we will have a vote on 21st? On the 21st. So. And if it's not unanimous, then we will have to schedule yes. a meeting before November 1st to make sure that we. Yes, if it's not unanimous, then we would have to schedule another meeting before November 1st because that's when it's got to be put into gateway is that correct yes okay can can I go over a couple things absolutely good yeah 
if, if you look at page 26 and 27, I just want to go over a couple of things real quick. And like I said, I spent a lot of time on this. Uh, I know what Brittany went through before. It's, it's very <laughs> confusing to me. But, and like the mayor emphasized before, he says, we don't, we're not spending money we don't have. The, you know, we're doing very well. We had a new contract. We were able to take care of a lot of the employees with that new contract. Uh, most, of the, most of the employees are paid out of the general fund. Uh, if you'll notice the numbers, personal services, that's basically the number that we pay out of the general fund for employees. Uh, <coughs> off to the right, that number in the yellow, you'll see that we're still gonna have a surplus in that fund of the 2.5. Um, so our general fund has done very well once again and I think I've mentioned it before, it's thanks to U5 is the reason that we've been able to generate money in that general fund. So financially, we're doing very good in the general fund. Uh, if you turn to page, I'm not sure why, but there was a number left out. Uh, every one of these funds, the motor vehicle highway, the very first right there, uh, the projected revenue was left out of that. I think it was close to like 485, it should have been. So it should have been a surplus. Yes. And I, I made sure that I didn't budget any money out of that fund that we didn't have, because that's tax dollars. And I'm usually, you know, but for some reason it was around 485. It was left out, so that number to the right where it's in the red that should not be in the red. We that should be in the black. We should be in good shape on that one. But they will clear this up when yes. you tell them. Yeah, right? and, and trust me, the, this right here, this right here is for your benefit. It's a draft it's for your. I got you. You know, just knowledge. What I put in Gateway, and I have to submit by Wednesday. That's that's the golden ticket of what the state Seven, board of accounts is. Is that the 1782 then we get back that's a, a certified budget? Yes. That, is that yeah, what that is called? Get, yeah. Okay. Um, and of course, if you look down through there, you'll see a surplus in all of them. I want to point out police, police pension. Uh, it's one of those things where uh, we <coughs> used to budget most of the money out of the police pension for our police officers for their perf. Eventually, that's going to have to change because um, well, yeah, it's going to have to change because that fund is pretty much going to dry up. I think back in the day they put quite a bit of money in that police pension and that money's drying up. So we're just going to have to budget that out of a different fund. Probably this year we're able to put, uh, budget part of it, but in the following years we're going to have to move part of that. Um, rainy day, once again, uh, the money that comes in a rainy day are just, it's just random numbers. You know, eventually, if we want to continue to spend money, which there's a, an advantage to being able to spend money out of rainy day, uh, eventually we may have to fund some money out of in, in the rainy day, whether it's MDF or whether it's um, uh, general. You know, we may have to put some more money in there because eventually that money kind of goes. But the nice thing about being able to budget out of rainy day is sometimes it kind of <clears throat> up where you can spend it on different things, like if Lenny wants to put lights in the pond. Ferris wheel. <laughs> Ferris wheel. I have to say they look good. Ferris, Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel is where we got to go. Uh, the one that, uh, in of course, uh, riverfront development, 4.5. You guys see that? I don't have to explain that. That's the riverfront. Right. Uh, Edinburgh. That number could be adjusted, and usually she doesn't spend what she has right there. That's the reason that's in the red. But that number could have been adjusted a little bit. But trust me, that 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 amount won't be spent anyway. Uh, cruising down through there, you got NR. Some of these other funds, the NR development, the only the only money that they get each year is the interest that I'm earning on the money that's actually in there, and those funds are drying up a little bit, so the interest is not, it's not going to take care of what we spend in there. So once again, we want to decide in the future whether we want to fund those funds more out of different things, or we usually <coughs> just whatever we spend out of there, we put them in different funds in the future. That's something we have to talk about and think about. Um, and the rest of it's pretty much the same. Uh, you'll see that the, the riverboat um, fund up there at the top, uh, that's the fund that kind of scares me in the future, you know, knowing how much money we have coming in from the riverboat. Eventually, we're probably gonna have to take a closer look at some of the stuff that we do in a riverboat. Mm -hmm. We're very generous with our money. We give a lot of money to nonprofits. Uh, and right now, we are still able to do that, but in another two or three years from now, um, depending on what happens with the riverboat and the mayor, we're going to add two cents on that, but we may have to look at that fund a little bit more. He, he, that's a good point. Two years ago, we started, um, uh, I started meeting with uh, qu uh, most of the nonprofits that we, we fund and, and trying to be as transparent as, as we can with them, right? 
we want them to <coughs> not plan on money that they may not be getting. So what we did was we started decreasing each year a couple years ago, and I, I brought them in and talked to them personally about it so they knew that we were doing it from the right perspective. You know, our, our revenue comes down, we, got it, we had to work accordingly. And every one of them were so appreciative because at least we didn't cut them out completely. Now we've had to cut them, and, and, and if you guys will see, you'll, you'll see some, some in there with parentheses around them where we cut them completely this year. And it w but it was a couple that we had to. Uh, but those weren't, uh, but for the most part, all of our nonprofits have, are well aware that uh, please start looking for other revenue streams going forward because we may not be able to supply that all the time. Uh, but they're very appreciative. And as long as they know ahead of time, they can adjust for it, they say, or they can look for another path for revenue. But we're, we're helping out as much as we still can with everybody. Uh, we don't, you know, we want to make sure that we're doing the right things. But Mark, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I, I, I just want to brag just a second. Mark uh, and, his, and his group, but mainly Mark, you know, obviously you, you got to make hay when you can make hay. And when, when the interest rates bloomed high, Mark was very good about making sure that we were looking at our cash cash flow we needed but making sure that we were able to invest the maximum we could to make sure we were getting the maximum return and I don't know if you have the numbers in front of you I don't want to put you on the spot but the amount of interest that we probably received in 23 was well above 22 but 24 is going to be well above 23 if, if am I probably yes, saying that right yeah, it's 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 significant um in the millions you know yeah it's when you get some money and invest you can make money but it's 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 in between four and five total which is really helps our that's budget a, that's a that's it's so helpful but, but just making sure we got people looking at the right thing <coughs> uh, anyway i i don't want to take all your time to get guys but i appreciate you making the time to number one look over this getting your questions out whether it was ahead of time or today uh, like I said, October 7th, uh, we'll have a hearing, a uh, public hearing on the budget. And then uh, October 21st, uh, provided it's unanimous, we'll vote the budget in. And then we'll be doing the salary ordinance uh, as well. So, any questions before we adjourn? No, but I would like to thank Mark because he had to put up with me and Tommy on this budget <laughs> thing. And speak one day he was hollering at me because I was keeping him after lunch. But <laughs> it's kind of hard to understand all this, but it, it, I want to appreciate he's done a well of a job on it. Well, I, you know, just, just, I'm in it to, I'm in it every day and I understand it, you know, but it's like somebody just looks at it. It's, it's a lot. There is a lot of information in there. And the mayor, like I said, he's, he's done a tremendous amount to kind of get the people together to get, to help get these numbers so I can put them in there. So. Any other questions? Two of you guys are done stroking each other. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I get a motion to hey, ad let me, adjourn. Let me hit this microphone. So move. <laughs> Can I get a motion to adjourn? I, I, I'll so move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Cutting you off here, Dylan. <laughs>